Hey, it's Brandon. Uh, we are here to present the August uh, beer mailbox. And uh, we stepped out of the office because the heat wave is on. So we're in a nice little park on the Carlsberg campus. Let's uh, jump right in. So first up, we have the organic craft shandy brewed with organic lemon and lime. Uh, this is a beer that we did as a collaboration with a uh, tattoo artist based in Berlin, uh, Simone Klimek. And this is her artwork on the label here. Uh, it's kind of a play on a classic German Rattler. Really great summer, uh, summer beer. Great for the heat. Get a lot of lemon and lime on the nose. It almost, uh, it almost smells like a Sprite or a Faxa Condi. Uh, this is 3.5% alcohol, so nice low ABV. You have the citrus from the lemon and lime. It's quite bright and refreshing. Um, perfect for the heat wave. Up next, we have another really great uh, summer beers. This is one of my favorite summer beers. I think if this box had a theme, it would be summer. There's a decent amount of low ABV, fruity, refreshing stuff, which is perfect timing. So here we have Drinken Berliner Yuzu, 2.7% uh, alcohol. It's a Berliner Weiss style beer uh, with yuzu, the Asian citrus added. Uh, we've used yuzu quite a bit in other beers, we have Spontan, uh, and it's, it's a really nice fruit. Ton of yuzu on the nose. It's really nice. The, the yuzu, of course, provides the citrus, uh, but it's a very full flavored beer, especially for only 2.7%. I'd say it drinks more like a 4% beer. Really good stuff. Next beer I have for you is an IPA, a 5.5% I Wish gluten free. Um, I'm sure maybe you haven't, maybe you have seen, uh, we, we try to do a decent amount of gluten free beers uh, and we always try to have a gluten free option on the board at our bars. Uh, we know a lot of people uh, either can't have it because of dietary restrictions or choose not to. Uh, and it's not super easy to make, and I've had some really bad gluten-free beers, but I really think that our gluten-free beers really hold their own against the non-gluten-free versions. Let's give it a taste. This is, uh, I wish, is uh, one of the more uh, classic European-style IPAs. So not much haze there, darker in color. Get some bitterness and maltiness on the nose. It's still, uh, it's still crisp, still refreshing. Uh, it's really nice. There's not very much uh, lingering bitterness. Easy drinking. Enjoy. Next up, uh, we have Sir Citra from Tou. Uh, this is the only guest beer in this month's box. Uh, and this is a dry hop sour pale ale. Uh, this is 5.5% also. Um, so you should have some of the hoppiness that you want from the pale ale. Uh, and some of the fruitiness from the citra hops and dry hopping, but then it should have some tang uh, since it's a sour IPA. Yeah, you get a citra on the nose and you can kind of sense uh, some of that tang in there. Another uh, great summer beer. It, uh, I mean, a pale ale is great for hot weather, but then you add the sourness to it and just kind of brightens it up a bit. I'm enjoying this sitting outside in the heat. Good stuff. Next up for you, we have Jackie Brown. This is a classic Mickler beer. I've uh, been brewing this one for a while, but it hasn't been back, uh, I would say, at least two years. This is a nice uh, brown ale, 6%. Nice color. It's not black. It's brown. Exactly what you'd hope for in a brown ale. Get a lot of uh, roasted malts. Reminds me of, uh, like... If you eat at War Pigs on a brew day when they're doing a dark beer and you get that, that malt smell, this is what that reminds me of. It smells really nice. It's good. It's clean. Uh, it's crisp. Uh, you do get the malt, but there is some bitterness to it. It's a really nice beer. We have one more dark beer for you in this month's box, and this is a new one. This is called Tweaker, and this is a coffee porter. Uh, the coffee we used uh, is from La Cabra. They're, uh, Really, really nice coffee roaster uh, based in Aarhus, Denmark, who's uh, really gained some international acclaim over the last couple of years. They're doing really nice coffee. This is an 8% porter. A nice 375 bottle. And as usual, some really great uh, Keith artwork. As it should, it pours a, a lot more dark than the brown ale. Wow, a lot of coffee on the nose on this one. Oh, it's good, it's roasty. Uh, 
got some fruitiness from the coffee beans. Uh, you can tell that the, the coffee in this is quite high level. Uh, it, it's really great. It's exactly uh, what you'd expect combining a porter with some coffee. Uh, really nice one. For the next beer, uh, we have uh, another new version of uh, our Hallo Ichbin uh, Berliner series. This is Hallo Ichbin Single. It's a Berliner Weiss style ale with uh, raspberries in new uh, 375 with foil. Really nice packaging. I like this label a lot. Beautiful color on this. Ton of raspberry on the nose. Uh, oh, that's good. You get the Berliner Weiss base, but there's a lot of raspberry. Uh, Great fruity beer. We have another uh, Berliner Weiss. Uh, this is a new series we're doing, Scour uh, Scandinavia. Uh, the series is going to utilize Scandinavian ingredients. So for this Berliner Weiss, we have uh, sea buckthorn, uh, which is super common in Scandinavia. I know it's not as common other places. Um, I know it was really hard for me to find sea buckthorn in New York, but here it just grows on shrubs on the street. Uh, you can just find it wherever. It's a, it's a pretty cool fruit. It's a little uh, cloudy. You get a lot of the, uh, the sharpness of sea buckthorn on the nose. It's really nice. Uh, it's quite, uh, quite tart and sour. Sea buckthorn tends to be very astringent, uh, so it's quite difficult to use well in beer and food. Uh, but this is not too much. It's got a bit of that... Uh, to it, but, but still a uh, balanced, full flavored, really tasty stuff. Last, but certainly not least, we have Spontan Carrot. Uh, this is a spontaneously fermented ale with carrots. And it uh, sounds weird, uh, but this is honestly one of my favorite uh, Spontan beers that we make. As you'd expect, it has some uh, carrot coloring to it. Mm. It's really nice. Honestly, I kind of hate carrots, but the, it just works so well with the uh, spontan base. You get the, the funkiness and the sourness from the beer, uh, but then the earthiness and the sweetness from the carrots. Um, again, it's just one of those combinations that doesn't make sense on paper, but once you taste it, I think you're going to be very pleasantly surprised. This is a really damn fine beer. Cheers. Cheers.